little help from Marianne, so, okay. And hello, everyone. It is April 8th. It is time for another visit to the garden. We're settling into our every three to four day visit here. So, not much change from last time. This is more some maintenance. Uh, Marianne, who uh, has been sort of one of the guiding spirits of the garden the whole time, was able to come out for a visit yesterday and did some cleanup and some work then. So, uh, we just concentrated today on some watering and doing some other work, also cleaning up the uh, grounds to the side and getting sort of like, you know, nicely cleaned up in our uh, area here so we don't have weeds and things in the walkways, but just to concentrate what we have here. So we trim back uh, a lot of the uh, big uh, blooms that were uh, happening uh, on the roses here uh, earlier in the week so we can let some of the new growth really start to kick in. Uh, this one right here, as you can see off this plant, is really doing very well indeed. Uh, the other smaller rose plants are just starting to go in, some little new growth here and here, more of the society garlic starting to come through too. As for the other big rose plant, you know, a nice little fair amount. We'll probably trim off these uh, when we come again on Tuesday, but as you can see, we've got some new growth there and uh, definitely over here as well, so we're doing just fine. Uh, smaller roses over here, they're all just sort of like continuing along, and the garlic over here, just sort of its usual little small amounts, just keeping on as it does. Uh, over here, uh, the artichokes, as you can see, really go into town. Uh, the main one is just, you know, <laughs> turning into the monster it always is. So uh, we'll start to see that, definitely start uh, getting some proper artichokes at the end of it here uh, for too long. Uh, the smaller ones are starting to uh, grow a little more too, so uh, they're doing pretty well. Uh, moving over into uh, here, so the radish is still under cage, uh, but uh, we picked one and uh, turned out very nicely. The rest are all, you know, coming along, very much mixed. We have had some bug nibbles, so that is, you know, unfortunate, but what can you do? Uh, however, they still seem to be maintaining pretty well. The one cucumber plant growth that seemed to be down in there, you can sort of half see, it's half in shadow, uh, does seem to be actually continuing, as opposed to the other ones which went away, so we'll take that as a good sign. There's also some clover in there, but we can live with that. So uh, we'll keep the cage on that, see where it goes over here. The carrots, not too sure about entirely. We definitely have some new carrot growth, uh, can't quite see it. The main one over here is the one that's grown the most, but we do have some other ones coming along, and there was one down here. So it might be sort of a slow start, but it uh, looks like they'll start to be coming along here. We'll have to keep an eye on it. The rosemary definitely seems to be taking some sort of root. There is some tiny little growth you can kind of see right there and a couple of the other ones. So we'll take that as a sign that it is starting to thrive and just sort of like, you know, put out some more energy here. It's probably actually grown more than we've even all noticed, so, uh, but uh, that is good to see. The sorrel, again, is just sort of there, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Nothing really yet. Tomatoes uh, doing very well. The plants are visibly starting to get bigger. It looks like, well, there was something we thought we planted over the corner. It looks like actually maybe they thrived over here, so we're moving the little thing over for that. The other uh, plants doing very well. So this is all off to a good start as far as we can tell. The tulips, as you can see, they have now the blossoms are starting to open. So a marvelous sign. So these things should be really kicking in here to the full in a bit. And as you can see, we've got some of the smaller ones coming along too. For the flowers, it uh, looks like in the center here, uh, we've got these flowers that are just starting to, you know, the initial plants are actually starting to emerge. So this is a hopeful sign, so maybe we'll start to see more over here, uh, a couple of plants at least. Over here, yeah, this one we're thinking more and more just might be a bust, we'll have to see. Um, over here, uh, the summer squash, doing incredibly well. And the tomato plants over here, and especially over here, all also coming along too, so we're going to see a lot of good stuff right there. The edamame continues, uh, just starting to go. It'll be interesting to see what everything looks like uh, in a, a few days' time. The paper whites have been uh, cleaned up. Uh, Marianne was able to do that, so just down to a few plants here, and we'll see what else we might plant at the end of it. Uh, the beans and the mint, uh, that's kind of the bust, as mentioned. We give it a little watering, but my guess is we'll have a discussion about maybe with something to replant, given the fact that it seems to have been snail attack that got it. Uh, you know, we might want to do something else, but maybe something hardier that they don't like to eat, so who knows. Uh, and the walkways, again, looking very fine. And it's all good. It's a wonderfully beautiful, dramatic-looking day. I'll give a quick shot if you can see the clouds there in the background. That's part of the on and off of weather we've been having all day. Everything from uh, hail to sun rains to just calm here. So we'll see where that takes us. And Suzanne's rightfully chilling over there after doing so so much good work and all that. So vote given a most favorite teacher award earlier today too. How well deserved, I say. So good times all around. So so anyway, I'm going to take a couple more photos here. That'll be it for us right now. And then we are. We'll be back on Tuesday. We will see you then. Talk to you then.